Dear viewers, welcome to yet another episode of Your Life, Your Money. People think financial planning is all about identifying the best funds to invest. The funds which give you highest return, that is where you have to go and park your money. This is far away from the truth. The real financial planning involves multiple stages. The primary thing to do in this case is to identify what stage you are in and what strategy you have to adopt and what is that you intend to do or what is that you intend to achieve. Only when you are able to identify these points, then you will be able to create a proper financial plan. In this episode, I am going to talk in detail about identification, strategies and the plan that you have to execute. Stay till the end of the video. I will give you many useful points for you to adopt in life. This is NRI Money Clinic for you and I am Dr. Chandra Kanbat, your financial guide for a happy living. NRI Money Clinic. No hype, just the right advice. In the financial planning, we can identify three distinct stages. People, depending on their situation, could be identified in one of these stages or they could be in multiple stages simultaneously. Stage number one is wealth creation. That is where you create wealth or you build your wealth during this particular phase. Stage two is wealth preservation. That means you have created the wealth or you have got certain assets. You try to preserve this asset. This is called wealth preservation. The third stage is known as wealth distribution. You have acquired wealth, you have grown wealth, you have reached a particular point. It is time for you to distribute this wealth for either consumption by yourself or to be transferred to somebody else. It could be giving out in charity, it could be giving out in legacy to the next generation, whatever it could be. It is a period of consumption of wealth known as wealth distribution. These are the three primary stages you will go through in life. Now let us look at wealth creation. How do you create wealth? The wealth can be created out of four distinct ways. Number one, your earnings. Number two, the windfall gains you make. Number three, the inheritance you get. Number four is the investments you make. Let's look at these things one by one. Now, in case of earnings, the earnings can come in the form of your salary. It can come in the form of your profession. It can come in the form of indirect income, for example, rentals, the dividends, the royalties or any other income that you may get. You can create more earnings by your experience. If you are a newcomer in the market, your salaries could be lesser. Over a period of time, you gain experience and your earnings goes up. That's how you create wealth. The other way could be you could be adding a qualification. You could be adding more skills that will propel you into a higher orbit in your career and your earnings will grow. This is one distinct way where the youngsters how to focus and create wealth. So earnings is the easiest, best way of creating the wealth. The second way of creating wealth is a windfall. A windfall can come to you in the form of lottery tickets or it can come in the form of favorable events happening in your life. For example, uh, let's say that you have a parcel of land and because of some event, let's say there is an airport coming up, there is a road passing nearby or nearby there is some rare earth metals have been found or something which will happen which will propel the prices of these assets to go up. Such kind of an events are called the windfall. You have not done anything, but you are a beneficiary of things which have happened. You winning a lottery ticket for that example is something of a favorable event. It's a chance that you have bought a lottery ticket and it's a chance that you won that number. That can also create wealth for you. There are people who inherit a lot of wealth by way of inheritance. Maybe these elders in your family could have lived in poverty, but they could have left behind a great amount of wealth in the form of land, in the form of of shares which had not performed during their uh, lifetime but things are favorable now you could be uh, the recipient of lot of wealth because of inheritance one another active way of creating wealth is investment people get confused with creation of wealth using investment investment is a serious business investment calls for proper approach proper planning proper strategies but people think investment as trading trading is not investment please remember if you are hitting success 
success in trading it probably comes in the form of a kind of a windfall it's a speculative activity you call it the event to happen in a particular way if it happens you are the beneficiary of it if it doesn't happen you may stand to lose a big amount of money so speculation is not investment investment is something where you put all your energies into it give it the time plan it strategize it and make it happen that is how you create a wealth so the wealth creation to summarize will happen because of four earnings windfall inheritance and a proper investment plan why should you work actively towards creating the wealth the wealth creation is absolutely required for everyone because you have life goals you have things to do during your lifetime you have a period in your life where you may not be able to work you may have to feed yourself from the savings that you have done or from the wealth created that you have done so to achieve the life goals wealth creation is a must step for each and every one whatever it takes for you to create wealth you must go through in life the easiest way to create wealth in your life is to increase your income increase by way of experience doing the same thing again and again gaining more knowledge about the field in which you are working and adding the skill that is the easiest way of creating the wealth it is not the investment which is the easiest way of creating the wealth it is the skill sets and the experience knowledge and the qualifications you get that is the easiest way to creating the wealth please understand the difference between investment and creation of wealth the easy route to it is adding skills the other phase of financial planning could be wealth preservation extremely important you have created wealth but you also need to preserve wealth when i use the word preserve wealth it also tells there is a possibility that you lose this wealth that is why the stage of wealth preservation becomes very very important what is that you preserve wealth from what makes your wealth to get eroded number 1 inflation whether you do something or not year after year the inflation brings down the purchase price of your money you stack up all the earnings that you have in your almiras at home don't keep it in the bank don't invest it somewhere you feel that your money is are safe but it loses its value because of erosion that happens because of the price rise otherwise known as an inflation so you have to preserve the value of your wealth from inflation you should also preserve your value from thefts you have created the wealth thefts can happen if you stack up your money is at home somebody can come and steal it if your wealth is in the form of gold somebody can steal it anything can happen so theft is another way where you can lose the money taxes is another way of losing the wealth you have created a great amount of wealth let's say that you are coming under heavy taxation for example nris keep their money in the nre fixed deposit they don't have to pay any taxes as long as they are nris but come back to india the nre fds get converted into the resident fds and taxes will make you lose a big chunk of your earnings this goes against wealth preservation memory loss could be another way of losing your wealth you have parked your money in 100 different mutual fund 150 different stocks multiple places and over a period of time either because of an accident which takes out your memories or because of a normal aging process or because of the limitation of the human mind to remember a lot of things or you are a disorganized person who don't keep things in a proper place if you forget where your monies are that can also go against the wealth preservation this is another way people fail to preserve wealth and may lose unintentionally there is another way wealth can be lost that's because of unfavorable circumstances that happen in your life let's say that you have a flat in a city a and there is an earthquake which happens and your building gets damaged your wealth can be lost but if you had a property insurance which can cover such incidences probably you can do the wealth preservation around that likewise in cases of situations like extreme frothiness in the stock markets like what happened in the year 2007 a markets in india was at about 21000 on the sensex and because of a massive correction they dropped to a levels of 8000 so the unfavorable events also can come in the way of preserving your wealth so you need to be preserving your wealth because of inflation thefts memory loss unfavorable events and the taxes the third stage in financial planning is wealth distribution 
you have built wealth it is not something that you look at on your excel sheet that i've got so much of a wealth keep feeling happy about it never consume it that's not the purpose you create wealth with an intention to make best use of it at some point of in life that stage is known as the wealth distribution phase the wealth distribution is where you consume your money for example you are retired now you don't have an active income and you need money for your day to day living that is when the created wealth is used for consumption in the absence of active income you use this likewise you may have reached the end stage of your life this is a time you want to give out as a legacy to your children grandchildren or anyone so legacy transfer is also a period of wealth distribution as a great human being and it's your desire that probably you want to do something for your society something for your school something for your close relatives friends the village or the town wherever you come from you want to give out money to them that is also a period of wealth distribution so now that you have identified there are three stages in financial planning wealth creation wealth preservation and wealth distribution in your process of financial planning the strategies that you need to adopt will change with this phases now let us look at these stages how will they exhibit in your life in the early phase of your life that is when you are out of dependence of your parents now you have got a job and you have got 25 30 years of active income you are at a wealth creation journey your primary purpose or the primary stage which where you are in is the wealth creation phase then comes the retired life you retire from your work now you don't have an active income you will get into two stages simultaneously it's a period of wealth preservation as well as a wealth distribution you have to preserve your wealth during your retirement days at the same time you have to consume this wealth for your requirements because you don't have an active income so you move to an overlapping stage of wealth preservation at the same time wealth distribution post 75 years of your age where you are looking at the fag end of your life and the end days of your life coming down you move into a wealth distribution phase you are not too much worried about wealth preservation you are not worried about whether i have got 3 crores whether i have got 5 crores or 10 crores or whatever the figure you look about how do i distribute this money how much money i need how long i might sustain and how the wealth has to be transferred to the next generation should i give this money in charity should i give it to somebody who has worked with me you could be having a driver you could be having a security personnel you could be having a domestic help who has served you for a life long you may want to give money you primarily move into the wealth distribution phase you need to identify these phases very clearly have a clear idea what you intend to do based on this you can develop a financial plan while i told you in a simple way the three stages of uh, financial planning at the same time when they exhibit it is too simplistic an explanation but in reality there is always a conflict i stress the word there is always a conflict between three stages at every stage of your life probably the last fag end of your life you may be clear about wealth distribution even at that stage many a times it can give rise to conflicts what kind of a conflicts you will go through the first conflict that you can go through is at every stage of life you have a need for all the three things you have to create wealth you have to preserve wealth and you may consume it and you may have a wealth distribution phase for example in the early phase the primary phase what you are in is wealth creation but what about your emergency funds your emergency fund is all about wealth preservation for some reason an emergency were to happen you suddenly move into a wealth distribution phase or you want to take a break from your work and you want to pursue studies and you don't have an active income suddenly your wealth creation stops and you move into a wealth distribution phase sometimes the markets may become very unstable or things may become very hazy in your life instead of focusing on wealth creation you may have to focus on wealth preservation technique so even though you are in an early phase of life the chances or the need to have all three things in your life wealth creation wealth preservation and wealth distribution strategies in place now let us look at the mid phase of your life maybe something like 40 to 60 years of age this age clearly has both the stages very very clearly distinguished you are still in a wealth creation journey 
you are also in a wealth distribution phase. You have invested your money, you have reached your life goal. For example, you have built a mutual fund portfolio with an intention to buy the house. You consume this money, which is distribution, and create that house that you want to live in. Or you have children's education fund, what you have built in at this point of time, and children are ready to go to college. This is a period of wealth distribution as well. So in your midlife, you have both wealth creation as well as a wealth distribution. Likewise, the wealth preservation also exists in this particular phase because of emergency fund, because of something which is happening unfavorable in your life you may have to suddenly adopt a strategy to preserve your wealth so even in mid phase of your life all the three stages will exhibit and your strategies have to be adopted accordingly now let us look at the retired life while we say primarily it's a period of wealth preservation and wealth distribution you just cannot afford to neglect wealth creation even during your retired life why gone are the days where people used to leave this world within five to ten years of retirement that's a thing of the past today people live for long many years people live up to 80 85 90 years not by way of an exception but by way of a design so if you retire at 60 and you live up to 80 to 90 years of age inflation can erode your wealth so if you adopt only a wealth preservation and only wealth distribution strategy make no mistake you may outlive your money therefore when you retire all three stages exhibit simultaneously you have to adopt wealth creation you need money that's why you go through a wealth distribution you can't afford to lose the value of money so you need to adopt the wealth preservation strategy so now you have seen three stages of your life early phase mid phase and the retired life all three stages of wealth creation wealth distribution wealth preservation occur simultaneously that's a conflicting situation that is where the role of financial planners come that is where you have to put your mind into it and understand your life very very clearly and adopt correct strategies does it look a little bit conflicting and difficult task to do don't worry help is available for you if you are somebody who is looking to build proper financial plan invest money the right way identify your life stage what needs to be done you can make best use of services provided by an rm money clinic we have team of experts on the ground who can help you go through a fact find session to understand your life understand what you want to do and what is the right strategy you have to adopt all these things can be done by our team of experts on the nrm money clinic how can you reach to us if you have an intention very simple our numbers are given in the description box below we have also provided a whatsapp link there click on the link send us a whatsapp message and our team of experts are ever ready to help you why delay send that message now dear viewers hope the video that i have done today helped you to understand the finer points of financial planning and why it is not as simple as putting it in a best performing mutual fund if it did give you a right direction to do your planning in the right way do not forget to give me a thumbs up by the way you have been watching my videos for such a long time if you have not yet subscribed for this channel it's time to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon do not forget to share these videos with your friends and relatives near and dear ones and on all the whatsapp groups on which you are connected with thank you very much for watching this episode on nra money clinic i shall be back with you next friday with yet another episode of your life your money till then stay safe jai hind press the bell icon for more details and subscribe our channel